And fresh facts have emerged why the government did not seize the opportunity to carry out road maintenance and construction, uh, including the third mainland bridge during the lockdown. Governor Babaji Desonwonlu, while responding to the concerns raised by a member of the audience during the leadership roundtable, said it will not be fair to ask construction site workers to get to work when everybody is on a lockdown. The 10 kilometer third mainland bridge is on water. There's so many things that are happening underneath the water. There's so many things that are happening underneath the concrete, right, that are regular routine maintainers that probably happens every three, three years or every four, four years. That's the time for that now to be done again. Very unfortunate, right, but it's also within the pandemic, right? But like I've explained, because all of the materials they're using have a shelf life, they needed to do it. And they said to us, Mr. Governor, if you don't allow us to do it, if anything happens, then you have yourself to blame. And so what we said is that we will not close the entire third membrane. It will be a partial closure. And what we're going to be doing is to manage traffic. And we've said that people that have priorities will be, will be traffic in the mornings coming into Lagos um, from, from the mainland. And in the evening, it will be the same thing. Priorities will be given to people from Lagos going back to the mainland. That's how we're going to be doing it. And in three months time, they'll switch over to the other side and they'll be able to fix it. I think you all know that it's rather late than be sorry. I mean, we, we will not sit back and now let a critical asset like Third Mainland Beach becomes where, you know, we, we will take that risk and lose out of it. And that was the Lagos State Governor Babaji Desonwulu speaking there in a live broadcast on PLOS TV Africa yesterday. We are now uh, with uh, architect Abiodun Solanke, CEO of uh, Lighthouse Architecture Development. He joins us online. Uh, thank you very much for joining us this morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning. It's a pleasure. W what's your take about the third mainland bridge repair at this time and, of course, the planned management of traffic? How do you feel this might turn out? Fantastic. I think uh, I would credit the... Uh, Lagos State Government for taking up this initiative, coming from the fact that uh, third cities, third world cities, they don't have the culture of uh, proper maintenance and uh, uh, management of uh, public infrastructure. And knowing fully well that this infrastructure is the body, is the, uh, the, 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 the bone, the backbone of the social and uh, economic uh, of the society, it is the right time for it to be done. But my take, I, I listened to the governor and i noticed that um for them it's it's a situation is a decision that has been taken already but my little uh, uh disagreement is the fact that the proper management the proper traffic management and the impact analysis that has to be taken has not been properly sch uh, uh, scheduled into this one thing we lack in terms of maintenance is planning this, as at the last time the third Milan Bridge was maintained, it should have been a structured, a scheduled structure that at such a point in time, this facility, knowing fully well that it serves the public use and should not in any way portend any danger for the public, would be maintained at this particular point in time. So everybody knows, since majority of the um, and workers in Lagos and Lagosians, and even outside Lagos, they apply, they go to the island through this uh, major access. It is important that this be maintained. But how we go about maintenance is the most important thing. Okay. The plan, the thing. Okay. Yeah. I was going to ask, do, do you think the reason cited by the, uh, Governor Sonwulu for government not embarking on road construction during lockdown is fair enough uh, on site workers, or do you think you know it might not be a good enough excuse? I, I would slightly disagree with the governor on this. Um, that's why you have uh, camps. When I heard the news, the first thing that came to mind is you can, part of planning is to properly have a handful of workers that will be camped at a particular location. The fear of COVID transmission is that when you have people who are already infected, these ones will be tested and accommodated in a camp and no other person will intermingle with them. And if they are supposed to uh, run a shift, they would be adequately accommodated in the camp and would carry out their functions as if they are 
all in the community of themselves yeah. so that we are being exposed to risk. Even at home, people are exposed to risk. So if this was done, the workers accommodated in a camp, housing arrangement made available for them, nobody comes in without being properly checked. I think the period we were in quarantine, this maintenance would have taken place and it would be a plus for the government. Okay. I know it could, it could be, it could be, it could be, it's actually a tough time now to be, to be able to uh, put so many things together at this time. The government is fighting COVID and then you want to do a road maintenance. But if we were that uh, dexterous enough in doing these things simultaneously, it would be a plus for the government. Would you, would you then, um, would you then um, agree with, you know, calls for postponement of the repair in order to give longer notice and you know better planning yes i would i would agree with that but it has to be a firm one firm in the sense that the impact assessment should be duly carried out people that would negotiators and commuters would be properly carried along so that they make room for alternatives so that lives and activities that the government intends to protect we are not overboarding at this period. I agree to the postponement, but it's a firm one. Because of our tidiness in maintenance culture in this side of the world, people may want to be overstretched, may want to overstretch the, 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 the postponement. Yeah. So it is necessary. It is necessary the postpone, we postpone, but it has to be within a time frame. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Architect Cholanke, for joining us. We hope to speak with you again. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.